We wrote the offer and found out that there were upgrades made in the home that did not get a permit. What do I do next? This is Martin Taggart, Team Real Estate, brokered by eXp. Look, let's talk for just one second about what takes place with upgrades that didn't have a permit attached to them. If you live in the city I live in, I can act as my own general contractor. That means I can hire a non-certified professional, a non-licensed contractor to make improvements on my home that do not require a permit. Why? Because I'm the seller, I'm the owner. There are other cities where every improvement requires a permit. Now, in a second, we're gonna talk about what takes place with an HOA. That's a whole nother can of worms, but we'll get there. Not every repair or upgrade requires a permit, but there are two types of upgrades that generally do require a permit. The first one has to do with electrical. Look, there's a reason why electrical contractors get paid the big bucks. My friend Jeremy's an electrical contractor, and I love the fact that I know Jeremy because he does get paid the big bucks. But here's why it's important to you. You're gonna want something that can affect the value of your home and the safety of your home done by a pro. Electrical definitely falls under that, uh, under that umbrella. What about the second one? Most people don't realize it, that f but for most cities, you're required to get a permit in order to install a new HVAC system. Why is that? Look, an HVAC system does two things. It heats and cools, but it does a third thing too. It moves air throughout your home. If it's a gas-fed HVAC system, then it could also create a huge health risk if it's designed improperly. That means there's a plenum, a manifold, and there are runs of vents that, go, that carry air out to rooms and returns that carry air back. Those things have to be done properly by a certified contractor in order to make sure they meet city code. Those are two great examples of a place where you'd wanna have uh, a permit. But what about, work, what about things like decks? They don't generally require a permit unless they're above a certain uh, level above the ground. What about swimming pools? Well, swimming pools do require a permit. And did you know that in most cities, it's a permit that's required in order to fill in a swimming pool? Did you know that? It's true. So look, some repairs and some upgrades don't require permits and others do. Don't make the assumption that just because permits aren't available, that the work was done improperly or even unprofessionally. It very well could have been, and most homeowners keep that documentation on hand. So don't let that worry you too much. Do your due diligence. Find a professional realtor to help you. Martin Taggart, Team Real Estate. Have an awesome day.